Hello guys and girls, welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 2, part 2. Um, so we've just made our way outside, ready to go and meet Chloe um, for some breakfast. However, we're going to go and speak to all these people and see what the hell's going on. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Good job. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. waking up with me. Wow. That's a bit weird. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Hmm. Right, anyway. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. That is fucking creepy, man. So this Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Must mean this um, dialogue. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me, like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Okay, so that's got an effect for later. So I'm guessing being nice to her might have changed something. Um, from private, oh, here we go. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many laws. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Come on over here. Just don't talk to him. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, 
Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Hmm. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah, fuck it, why not? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yeah, go with that. He kicked the shit out of that. Well, he got the shit kicked out of him, I suppose, but still pretty cool. Well, let's go and get the boots. What happens if you just skip it then and don't talk to him? I guess you can do that and some of these just skip them. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or both. This is the first time being out of the campus, isn't it? Apart from the lighthouse, well, obviously that doesn't really count, does it? So I'm guessing the weather's going to get worse each day. So uh, the uh, storm. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. Can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Chloe. This is 8.40. Wait, how long did that take then to travel there? Half an hour. So this is what 
process. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Oh, fuck no. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Okay. Well, right. there's nothing really interesting. Can't actually go over the road. Nope, I don't want to go there. Uh, maybe I do. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that, or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Well, he's not very helpful, is he? A bit of a prick, if I'm honest. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. I like how they blank out everything else just so you can only read one bit. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look who's down here. Homeless guy. Might try and rob me. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine Homeless example girl. of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell. And this town. Uh, let's go for this. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Lack like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not for long. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work, out of home, like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Dedication right there. You must okay. know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce <coughs> sees in him, but 
He better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. <coughs> okay. Goodbye. Right, let's go in, let's get in this diner. Oh, should we have a little sound here first? Yeah, we'll have a little sound here first. Probably nothing. Just took a photo of a dog's butt. Then get an achievement for it. Oh, for God's sake. Right, let's go. I think I spent enough time pissing around. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Alright, I think I might just sit down. Um, how do I? I need to get beads done, so this one. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You are still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Mm, we'll see about that. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Hmm. Yeah. Chloe she understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but... I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh, big number. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. Hmm. One bacon omelette for the young lady, Sap. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices.
This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. Can I move? No. Could just drink some more coffee for a bit. What am I missing here? Oh. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. I'd be pretty sad Another about that, reason actually. To town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Hmm, so it's what? 75, 80, 6. I don't know if I actually need to remember any of these properly, but... You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Hmm. <laughs> All of them. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Bloody hell, really? Um, panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, fuck. 10.32 a.m. Oh, fuck. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What does the hell that mean? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 
80, oh, 86 cents on it. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. I literally just got chills all over my neck. I literally guessed the time for that parking ticket. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad You're power. fucking kidding me. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Is that it? That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Well, uh, Trevor. Oh. The trucker in. drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um, alert on cops radio on leak. Alert on cops. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. I just want to have a fight and Joyce beats him. Oh, right, okay, Joyce doesn't care. I think she's so Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy as I don't know what happens. Or I think the it's jukebox that. goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Dude, did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. Oh, so me, cool. Bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, cockroach. Fuck. This is a sad this day in Maxwell. This is yeah. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Right, so you gotta get them all right, fuck's sake. Right, okay, let's see. I'm going to predict. <coughs> um, Druffer drops his mug. The trucker. So, what happens next? Um, well, it's got any leaves. He's done his part leaves, yep. The well, let's just see. Um, Joyce stops him. Um, just. And then a cockroach. Just getting good. 
The jukebox go. goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But what? Oh, so if you get it right, it slightly changes. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Well, go, no refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. What? <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. <laughs> Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. God knows. Right, guys, so that's just over the 30 minute mark. I hope you enjoyed part two of episode two. Um, so, finally, Chloe believes that you've got superpowers. Uh, so, now we're going to test them, see what all that's about. Not really progressed, progressed much of the story yet, so um, it's about to find out really what's going to happen with that. Um, so, we've done two episodes, so I'm expecting there'll only be two to three more. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen yet. Maybe it's just testing the powers and things like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed, guys. I'll see you next time for some more um, life, of, life, is, life is Strange.